Hello, in this video I will show how can you touch Epson Ruba very quickly and not taking time using the Epson RC Plus 7. Uh, in this video I will be using VT6 Ruba. So from previous Ruba, previous video I created my VT6 Ruba and you can touch up any Ruba you want. So I'm going to show on VT6. I, sh I selected the VT6 and I connect to my virtual VT6 Ruba. Now I'm connected to the VT6. So now I'm gonna turn on the simulation. Here's the simulation. If there is any uh, collision or anything like that, you can reset your collisions here and it shows you this robot. And if, it, if you need to move it, let me make it a little bit bigger here. If you need to uh, move the robot, you can move it with this rotation or uh, the object move. Uh, and with your mouse, you can also move your robot whatever you want. So here, uh, if you want to move these, if you, there are two ways to jog this uh, robot in this simulation. You can choose this rotation, and then you go to the arm that you want to change, you and you move it. Or you open your robot manager. Here also you can jack your Ruba. So let's now make this a little bit small to see both. Okay. First thing you're gonna turn on your motor. Reset if there's any alarm. And then uh, uh, jack each point, you can jack your Ruba here. Okay, so the first thing, you have to have a home position for your Ruba. To do that, we expand this down. There is a home configuration all the way in the bottom here. You press it. There is already home for it, but uh, it's already assigned to it. But if you want to change your home position or if there was no home position, here where you set your home position. So move it where you want it. Let's say this is your home position. You, you, you If you're not, you go here, jog it. You move it with this or you move it by this one. Let's say this is your home. And then I go to the home configuration and read current position. Here you go. Changed it to the current position. Apply. And this is my home. So, for example, if I move the robot now to another position and I go to the control panel and press home, yes, it's going to move it home. There we go. Now, if I want to touch up another position so this is my home now I want it to go a little bit this side I want this side. what's one turn this way this one go down I want this to be the safe position for example or any position I come to the jog and teach and after I make sure this position I go and and, and I go to uh, teach point I chose I choose any point I want here I have some points to read touch up but I can uh, choose a new point or an, an existing point and I edit it and I press teach yes so now this is my safe position so for example if I move the robot to an, any other position and then I go to execute motion and I tell it go to the safe position here you can choose which position you want to go to. Let's go to the safe position, execute. Yes, is moving slowly to that position. If I wanted to move faster, I can stop it in the middle of the move, no problem. I can change speed to high. And now I tell it go continue with a faster speed. Here you go. Now when you jog it, there is here option gives you for continuous, long, medium, short. Um, so continuous, as long as you're holding the button, it's going to keep moving until to hit the hard limit switch. But if you want it to move shorter distance, you press long, for example, and you press this, it's going to move only this distance, which is what, which you highlighted here, and it's going to stop. Uh, medium. It's going to go one and it's going to stop. 
you have to have your well, take your hands and push it again see it is like jogging it I didn't have to take my hands but it's it goes one by in a time short point one you go back to long and you go back it's gonna keep doing it it's not gonna jog it so this is option for you and here uh, there is a joint word tool local joint ECP I can go word and I can uh, jog it and here here we can uh, show how you want the position to be shown word join pulse you can see the position of the robot in this different format and that's how you do it and when and when you finish you have all these points here will be position changed if you uh, know if you, in the, in this point you can type if you want to type change the position for safe position for example x is 339 if i put 3 let's 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 go there first let's go to our safe position execute Now it's in our safe position. We can come to point in the safe position X if we change it to minus 400. Save. Now if we tell it go to the safe position, it's going to have to move to the 400. There you go. It moved. Changed it to the 400 instead. And, and that's how you do and here also if you have any alarm if you have any alarm with the robot you reset it from here and you turn the motor on again and you go back and uh, continue your work that's it thank you